Oh hi, you just caught me reading some literature. It's been a little while since we did an unboxing, so today we're going to do an unboxing. Yeah, you're watching this. I couldn't have said it better myself. Right, so what's it all about today, folks? It's all about bone conduction headphones. What on earth am I on about this time, you ask? This is my old set of bone conduction headphones. These are called Trex Titanium by Aster Aftershocks. And the beauty with a, um, a bone conduction headphone is that the headphone sits over your ears and it transmits a vibration into your skull yeah and that eventually results in a sound in your ear but what it means is your luggos are left clear open so if you're going cycling for example you can go off and ride a bike and your luggo ain't blocked whereas take a set of these which are just another one that go in your luggo that's going to actually um mean that you're less aware of sounds around you okay so my Trex titaniums recently have broken just in there. That see that just in there, they've just broken. So I'm thinking, am I going to shell out another 60 quid on them? Well, probably not. Um, the, the Trex airs are about a hundred pounds, but you can get reductions. And then there's a Trex Airborne or something, which are the top ones there, 150 solves. Being a skin flint, I decided to buy the cheapest set for bone conduction headphones from Amazon. And this is what I've ended up with. This. This is called Model MD8. Now, it doesn't tell me on here what these, who these are made by. It tells me nothing. But let's get in and unbox this puppy. So what do you get in the box, you ask? I'll post over there the name of these headphones because it will tell me on Amazon, I'm sure. So what do you get in here? You get, first of all, a plastic thingy. And these are the headphones here. Look at that. They look a bit they look a bit sort of Doctor Who, don't they? So you've got bone conduction headphones there. Look a bit um, sort of sci-fi, retro sci-fi maybe. Buck Rogers in the 25th century. Do you remember that? Yeah. Um, you get a little micro USB charger, so no proprietary charging gubbins going on here. You got the tiniest. Why do they, why do they have to put plastic in? It's crazy, isn't it? Tiniest instruction manual. And then if we look at this, we've got charging on there. We have got on-off button on the top. We've got a couple of buttons there, which I'm guessing allow you to to cycle up and down. And that's your lot. So what are they like? Let's firstly put them on. What do they actually look like? What do they feel like? Well, these are 17 quid. So I'm not expecting too much. Well, of course, the one beauty with bone conduction is when you switch them off, you've got total hearing. You don't have to take your, your, your earphones off when you if you stop and have a discussion with someone. So, of course, that's exactly the same. But is the sound going to be any good? Now, because these have broke, it doesn't give me quite as good a... Um, it won't give me as good a sound on that side there because it won't press against my skull enough. But these seem really loose and I don't really know how it's going to work. So let's see now how they work by connecting to the phone and playing some music of sorts. Let's do this. So here I am, folks, three miles out after wearing these bad guys. What are they like? Well, the sound is a little bit tinnier than you might get with, um, certainly more tinnier than you would get with a, an in-ear ear headphone or a earbud or a around-the-ear headphone. And I don't know if it's tinnier than the Trex Titaniums, or that's just my perception. Now, I've tinkered around with a graphic equaliser to take out some of the middle tone, um, middle frequencies a little bit and that seems to have raised the bass nominally but you're not going to get good bass but what I would say is 
the button positioning on these is pretty easy to get to and it only took me a few minutes to suss out where they were um, from a comfort point of view these are really really comfortable there's no pressure hard, hardly at all pushing across from from one side or the other because i know with some trexes some aftershocks they feel like they're pushing in there pushing that and I've got a big big nugget like me it can be a bit painful but these none of it what do they look like well you can have a look better than me and i don't know if the sound is coming through the mic or coming through the phone at the moment so you have to bear with me on that i'll try and suss that out let's just switch the wi-fi off and see if that makes a difference right so the headphones are disconnected now and it says disconnect you get you get this audio cue in your head which is really good um so that's that's that is one definite thing i'll say about these that's pretty good connects pretty straightforward phone calls i struggle to hear the other person they could hear me clear so the mics are pretty good but for dialogue i'm not sure if these are all that good so um you've got to just consider with these headphones you're talking 17 quid now aftershocks are 50 60 80 100 150 quid for the different types you're never going to get full immersive surround sound with a bone conductive headphone these here provide your music you've got your tunes as lou on unbox therapy would say you've got your tunes um so if you've got your tunes and you can sing along and you can hear your surroundings and I would say these are pretty good. Are they keepers? That's the question. I'm going to carry on my cycle, get back to base, and have a bit of a, a bit of a thought, a bit of a think, and then I'll make up my mind. Right, so back at base, folks. Um, I'm happy with the headphones. I'm happy. These are called Fruit Squeak. Fruit Squeak. Fruit Squeak. Something like that. The one question that I probably get asked more than any other is how heavy are these fruit squeaks? Open ear, bone conduction headphones. But let's quickly work that out right now. So, in fact, let's measure these first. Let's weigh these first. These are Trex titaniums. Trex titaniums. 38 grams, grams folks. That's 38 grams. How much are these? 21 grams so what you've got with these let's compare to the trex titanium which i've used for two years what do you get what are the benefits of these you probably get slightly more surround sound with the tracks you get a more comfortable fit with these they don't squidge your head in so my, my head was like that wide until i wore these now these do push on the side of your head a little bit you get the same audio prompts the controls are almost the same you get slightly more bass in these these are very slightly more tinny, but as they say, you've got your tunes and you've got more money in your bank account. Um, these are keepers. Catch you guys on the next. Headphone, schmedphone, flip side. Couldn't have said it better myself.